Good morning, good day, good afternoon, wherever it is, wherever you are. Welcome to another vlog, guys. Definitely a good day. Sun's out, it's beautiful. Um, we got heaps to do today. We're hopefully picking up Mr. LZ's car from the dyno. Uh, just waiting on that call now. Uh, it's definitely going on the dyno at some point. But it's a really good day for Adam's car. Just had a knock on the door this morning and his wheels are turned up. So there's no real surprise as far as wheel go wheels goes. He wanted the same wheels that he has on his 180 in the States. Um, shall I show you guys? We've got a full set. Well, we've got a set of six uh, Works Kiwamis. All right, we're back. I've covered my address so we can have a look. All right, I did have to open these up quickly just to see and make sure they had no scratches from the company that delivered them. But check it out, guys. You. These are the fronts. So the front wheel spec is a uh, 17 by 9 plus 17. We're going to need to run, obviously going to need to run some spaces on these baddies um, to get them where they need to be and uh, on that big wide body that's on the S13. But uh, yeah, anyway, that's the front. Pretty cool. Not a huge amount of concave, obviously, because they're a 17 by 9. I hope the center caps are in there. I don't know if they're center caps. I don't know if you had to order them separately or... I'll find out, I guess. And the rears. Now, like I said, I've already, I have already opened these. Check them out. These are the rears. Just sick. All the works. Paperwork. Because it's genuine. Yes! Look at the concave on the rears. So it doesn't, it doesn't show like it does in person. But yeah, these are really big concave work kwamis. So they are the wheels um that are going on adam's car we got uh four rears and then a pair of fronts so the car's obviously going to look pretty amazing we got those other few bits off the of paint hopefully i can pick it up today and we can get working on that car um obviously i've done pretty much everything i can do personally on the s13 convertible um so that's just whenever i can get it into black arts and uh the beams can definitely have more work done just going to get around to doing it, but I think today and the next few days are definitely going to be dedicated to getting Adam's car completely sorted out so it's ready to leave in seven days from now to head down to Mount Gambia. So, very exciting. Not long to Mount Gambia now and uh, Adam will be flying into the country and we're going to get to do a bunch of fun shit, which is going to be amazing. So, yeah, that's his wheels. We'll get some tyres fitted up to them. I'm just actually waiting to hear back on a tyre size. But yeah, sick. All right, so bad news is, uh, unfortunately, the tuners had to go to a funeral. So we're not going to be picking up Adam LZ's car today. Um, we're picking it up tomorrow morning after I go and see the hospital about this. Yeah, I've got the car stuff again because it was really annoying. And I wanted to have a shower without it. Anyway, um, we're actually heading to a car dealership now. So we're looking into buying a new truck. Four drive, whatever you want to call it. So see how things go. Could end up with a new car today. Hi. I'm Penny. Hi. <laughs> That's all you. Hi. I'm eating. Wifey's looking cute today, I reckon. I feel like I'm always eating. Yeah, she's definitely not always eating. I like food though. You like food? You yeah. never used to. Yeah, I know. Hmm. Ford Ranger, maybe. Wild Track. Raptor. All right, so we just went and done a test drive on a wild track, which is nice. You like it? Yeah. Yeah, what? I want a Raptor. <laughs> yeah, so I'm having the unfortunate thing where, like I said, it's, it's wicked having a wife that likes cars and stuff, but she's really, really interested in the Raptor. So I don't know, we're gonna see if we can test drive the Raptor. Um, I think we can afford it. It's just, uh, yeah, the Raptor's sick, but it only has a two and a half ton towing capacity versus the three and a half ton, but it's whether we would use more than two and a half, like tow more than two and a half ton being uh, just a race car. And it's not like we're going to be towing massive caravans or any of that sort of stuff. So yeah, I don't know. We'll see if we can have a test drive of the Raptor, I think. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we're now on a test drive in a Raptor Ranger. 
chuck Tiana in the driver's seat. Yeah, you just put it into D there, sweetheart. Yeah. But this um Yeah, the ra yeah. the Raptor range is definitely cool. I just had a drive of it now and um suspension's unbelievable. It comes with King suspension straight up out of the factory. 33s I believe, straight from factory, 10 speed. Um super comfortable seats. Um wifey looks nervous. Just blew through a stop sign. Didn't even stop. I kinda did. <laughs> she kind of did, but uh, yeah, super nice cars these. Um, you can see in the back there, big wide body that the car has. Go to the left. Are we right. going to pick up Boston? Oh, go wrong. Are we going to pick up Boston? Uh, we'll go pick up Boston after. Um, but yeah, these are definitely a very, very nice car. I think this, is, yeah. If we can get it for the right price, this might be the uh, go-to. Yeah? Yeah. Right or left? Whichever way you want. I'd um, say right. Yeah. Stop so there, are, there are two litre twin turbo. The power feels really good. Obviously a diesel, not a not a um, petrol. So just monster truck straight over that. Go. <laughs> so yeah, very cool. The I suspension's sick. It's so. I just don't know how yeah. wide it is. It's pretty wide. It's know. pretty wide. That's what I'm scared about. <laughs> All right, guys. We're on to the next day now. Um, well, today's been insane already. This morning I had an early appointment at the hospital, and I'm into a weird thing that is much nicer. So I don't have a cast on anymore. Everything's healing good. So that is amazing. However, I got some extremely bad news this morning. Not extremely bad, it's not the end of the world, we'll get it sorted out. Unfortunately, Adam LZ's car has a bad head gasket. Um, so that is off to, straight off to Kevin Bell Mechanical. Um, our mate Larkins Mechanical is picking that up. Larkins is, uh, uh, he can do head gaskets, but um, we're sending it up to Ben just because he can get the head decked. Uh, it's probably getting a Nitto head gasket, ARP head studs, and that car, We'll be sorted out. We'll probably see how things go. We've got drifting on tonight, so hopefully you guys stick around and enjoy a bit of that footage. Um, but failing that, we may bail at some point and go down and see how Ben is going on Adam LZ's car. And then we're gonna go tomorrow to Ben's shop and start putting all the rear arms and stuff in and get that car to alignment while it doesn't have the head on and get up to date with what's happening with Adam LZ's car. Otherwise, I'm gonna take Adam's, where is it? Adam's work wheels down to the track tonight, get a bunch of tires fitted so we can get those wheels onto his car. Um, other than that, you guys will see Adam's video, which might be out now or tomorrow. Um, he's making it literally as I talk to you guys right now. I just had to send him a bunch of information on people to thank, etc., on his build. Uh, so, yeah, it's crazy, guys. Didn't expect my day to go this way. I was expecting to head down and be picking up that car now from the dyno, but this is cars and yeah, there's a reason I've gone to a Beams instead of an SR in the 86. So yeah, these things happen. It'll get a new head gasket, the head's getting decked, uh, new head studs and um, look, everything should be a-okay uh, and I'll should the car won't be done for Thursday night practice however we should have that car completely sorted out on Friday I think there may be a Friday night drift practice at Queensland Raceway so potentially we could take the car there and test it which if the car is done in time and there's spots we will take that out there because I just want to test it ASAP because I leave Monday week to go to Mount Gambia um, if everything's all good on Friday then yippee We'll pack the rest and clean the rest of the car up, put the roll cage in and stuff. Otherwise, if there is any issues at all that need to be tightened up and done before um, Mount Gambia, we will test the car again on the Sunday at Archfield. Um, and then, fingers crossed, everything will be 100% A-OK. -okay. Uh, mechanically, other than that, Adam's car is good. The new clutch is unreal. Gearbox feels good. Um, the diff's done. We're still waiting on the BC coilovers. But other than that, 
we're pretty well ready to go from every other point of view other than fitting the roll cage to Adam's car, putting the rear end in, and a head gasket. Sounds like a lot, but um, I think we've got it under control. Anyway, let's um, get some more shit done today. Gotta get ready for drift practice tonight, it's beginner's night, so should be good. All right, I've been fucking around, doing stuff here at the track now. Everything's happening. My boy Mitch is down here with his Hilux. What's going on? He's got a big, sick engine in it now, and he's doing some testing here at the track. Uh, I'm gonna chuck some GoPros in with him. Is that all right? What's that? I'm chucking some GoPros in with you. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, sick. Let's chuck some GoPros on with him. boy oh oh he lost brakes I'm guessing uh, I'm guessing he lost brakes <laughs>
good little beginner session on tonight. Everyone's having a good time by the looks of it. Good amount of drivers. So yeah, 33 out there at the moment, learning. Having a good time. Comfortable. It was a bit gnarly at the start there, but we're good now. So gnarly, you mean shit? Yeah, a bit shit. I I landed in the airport up that end on that runway. I got a little bit concerned because that's where Russ's car used to be, where you ended up. Oh yeah, if it was there, I was going. If it was inside. there, you would have gone inside. Yeah, <laughs> I was genuinely out of control. I don't yeah. know. It threw a belt at the same time, but I don't, I'm not sure if it was related or just me. Yeah. Me. All right. Either way, all good. All good. All right, I think we're going to wrap up the vlog there, guys. Uh, we've got heaps of work to do on Adam's car tomorrow, as well as getting some stuff done on the V35, so that's ready for the trip. Um, overall, just getting shit ready for Mount Gambia. So thanks very much for watching, guys. I'll see you in tomorrow's vlog. Bye.